CC, you're not coming. Sorry. Okay. My prop today actually has a lot of relevance for today's video. So we're going to Byron in two days, which is like a really tropical, beautiful, beachy place in Australia. Not only are we going on a beautiful, relaxing holiday, but it's also our first baby moon. So if you guys are new to my channel, I'm actually nearly 20 weeks pregnant, 20 weeks tomorrow. So this haul is not only fun, but it was actually super necessary because before I got pregnant, I was like a size six to an eight. So like an extra small. And now that I'm 20 weeks pregnant, I'm kind of like a 10. And in everything here today except one piece, I'm a size small. So everything shown in today's video is from whitefoxboutique.com. As always, I have my same discount code, Sarah, and that can give you 15% off. So no joke, this is actually the size of my suitcase. Like this is my suitcase. So yeah, I asked on my Instagram if you guys wanted me to make this video and it was a resounding yes. So I'm really excited to show you my Byron outfits and also how you can be fashionable with a baby bump. So let's move my prop out of the way. Okay, also a side note, I feel like I've been chopping and changing from the word vacation and holiday. It's because in Australia, we call it holiday. Like we're going on holidays, you're going on holiday to the snow, you're going on holiday to the beach. And in America, you guys call it vacation. So I try to use both words so that you know what I'm talking about. So vacation, holiday, same thing. So when I do go away on holidays, I don't really like to spend too long getting changed. I just wanna throw something on that I know looks cool. A lot of these are dresses because you can just chuck on one item and your outfit's pretty much done. So starting off with these two strappy dresses, I got it in a baby pink and also white. White is one of my favorite, you can't say color, shades. My favorite shade. So in this dress, I feel like I'm channeling like Sporty Spice or Baby Spice. It's so cute. I love the back that you can make it what you want. So you can make it crisscross or straight up and down if you want, because when you get it, it doesn't come with the straps in those little hooks. I love making it crisscross in the back. And I also love the front, how it has this little tie over section with a bow on the side. I feel like it's really flattering. And if I can say that being 20 weeks pregnant, I feel like it's gonna be flattering on most people. And these fit me perfectly right now. So I'm just gonna like get as much wear out of them as I can until I'm a big ball. And I'm just gonna wear moo's forever. So as you can see, I've paired them with these little sandals and I've wanted these for so long. Again, everything is off White Fox Boutique. And in these, I got a size six. And I think it's the color combination of the leopard and the white. They look really luxurious and expensive. And you'll see in this haul, I'm pretty much wearing these with most items. Oh my gosh, I love this dress so much. And I think it's because it reminds me of Cinderella. This one I feel like is maybe a little bit of a bigger size because again, it's a small, but I feel like I could have even gone the extra small. But in saying that, I don't really have big boobs even now being pregnant, like I'm still waiting. So yeah, don't be afraid to go down a size in this one. I'm really, really picky with blue. I say all the time, I don't wear much blue, but I really do love this shade of blue, especially when I'm tanned. The back is so cute with the bow. It's really simple, but not boring. So I paired it with the leopard shoes that kind of dresses it down and makes it chill. But if you had heels with this, you could totally wear this as like a cocktail dress. I mean, I think this is pretty dressy, but like I said, I'm a pretty casual gal. Next up, I really love dresses like this that are like off the shoulder. I love the sleeves and the hem, the hem and the sleeves have like kind of a thick band through them so they're not too flimsy. Like if it's windy, it's not gonna blow over everywhere. It's kind of like a linen with the thick hems. I'll probably wear this when it's just like a medium chill day with sunnies and a big bun and it fits the bump and it's so comfortable. This is really, really dressy and fancy for me. So if we go to like a nice dinner, this is where I'd wear this. Now this is the one item in the haul that is not a small. I actually got a small and it was way too small for me. So I would definitely go up a size in this, even if you're not pregnant. So I actually have a medium in this. I don't know, I think this one is really unique. And because it is quite busy with the cutout and the frill, it's nice that it's like a subdued neutral color in this terracotta rose. I tried to dress it down with the leopard sandals and that's how I'll wear it out to dinner in Byron because Byron is super beachy and chill and coastal. Wearing a lot more like oranges and mustards, I think because it's getting a little bit hotter out. Where I live, this is like a very on-trend color right now. Again, it has a similar design to the baby pink and the white dress where it sweeps across your belly and ties up on the side. I think this is a good option if you're a little bit self-conscious about your tummy because this is quite a 
a thick linen, the dress itself is already lined. And then you've also got this sweep over section, which is also lined. It's just gonna give you that extra piece of material. So I know certain friends that would love this because they always say to me, I can't borrow this of yours because I don't like my tummy. So when I film these videos, I really try to think about everyone's different body shapes, not just myself. So if that's something you are self-conscious about, you may like that aspect of this dress. My final dress of the haul is a very fancy one. I don't actually know if I'm gonna bring this to Byron because I don't know if we're gonna go anywhere fancy enough, but I just wanted to show you guys it anyway. And I'm always so hesitant with lace because I hate wearing things underneath or having to find a slip underneath. But I would say my two lace options in this haul are the best quality pieces in like my entire wardrobe right now. It's a really thick, durable lace. Like you can tell it feels expensive. And then on the inside, it's lined with like a skin color slip, but the slip is like so perfect and so incognito that when it's on, you can't even tell, like you can't see slip lines. I also grabbed these shoes. I thought they were a really beautiful color for summer. I love the tie up detail and they're actually really comfortable. It's thicker, chunky heel, not a stiletto because I'm usually in places that have like grass or on a boardwalk or on a boat and stilettos are really hard in those situations. Okay, so that's like the really fancy stuff done. Let's go for more of the day wear. This is again, super random. I don't know, I'm just really loving red lately. Also, I love co-ords, like two piece sets because they're so easy. Like you don't have to think, do your two pieces go together? Does your top go with your skirt? Like they were made for each other. You know what I mean? So obviously you can see in this look, it's quite fancy with the red heels. If I was going to wear these pieces in Byron out to breakfast or out to lunch, I'd probably just pair this skirt with a plain white t-shirt, the leopard flats and some big black sunnies. It's just probably more wearable and casual for me. I feel like it's very chic and expensive and cool and you would go somewhere and no one else would be wearing this. Does that make sense? It's very cool right now. I love the outfit, but it's not so on trend that I'm gonna get over it. Like I feel like I'll love these two pieces for a really long time. I love this shirt because first of all, I don't have to wear a bra. Like yes, I don't have big boobs, but also it's quite a thick fabric. So once you bunch it up and tie it, I feel like it's not see-through and you can't see my nipples. So that's a bonus. I hate wearing a bra. And then these linen pants, oh, like this is perfect for Byron. I think because they're long and high-waisted, they're really classy, but the white makes them very casual and beachy. As you can see here, I'm quite short. I'm only like 162 centimeters tall, so they are a little bit too long for me. I need to take them to my parents' house so my mom can take them up before I go away. So yeah, just keep that in mind. If you're short like me or have short legs, you may have to get them taken up. But I did get these in white and black, but for Byron, I think I'll just be bringing the white. Ooh, I thought these were fun. You guys know bodysuits? It's kind of like a one-piece bikini. It's normally like a tight leotard that you put pants on over. It's just so you don't have to tuck things in again. Well, White Fox have done one, but it's just supposed to look like a t-shirt but it's a bodysuit. So this is a really cool idea that it's supposed to be chill, basic t-shirt that you don't have to keep tucking in. So I got it in white and pink. For Byron, I'm just gonna bring the white one. I love white. And this is very similar to the dress. So it's the same kind. I think it's from like the same collection. It's the same kind of lace, super thick, super durable. Have you guys seen the ones that everyone's been wearing to like festivals and stuff, but it's just see-through lace and then you have to wear some kind of underwear underneath? And nobody got time for that. And like, I'm a mum now. I need to be like, classy, you know what I mean? I don't know. So I don't know if you guys can see here, but it has like these mini skin color shorts on the inside of the flares. And these fit me so good. Again, they're a small and it totally depends what you wear with it. So on my Instagram, I think I just wore like a chill shirt like this and it totally dressed it down and I had like white sneakers on with it with some sunnies. So I would wear that to breakfast or shopping around Byron, just like a kind of day outfit. But because they're lace, they're so beautiful and such good quality, you could definitely dress these up. I love this top and I feel like I'm gonna have to keep my eye on it because I know my little sister is going to love this top. So Talia, if you're watching, do not steal this from me because I'll notice it go from my wardrobe. It's so thin, so really comfortable. And if it's boiling hot, I'll be able to like breathe and sweat all over it. Clip, you can see I have it on with the lace pants, but realistically, you can wear it with anything. You can wear it with like denim shorts, a skirt, jeans, anything you want. I don't wear many cropped jumpers. I actually don't really wear any cropped jumpers, but when I match this with the white linen pants and a belt, it really dressed it up. I don't know, very cool, like an outfit I've never seen before, because you probably know if you've been somewhere like tropical and beachy before, in the afternoon slash night, it can get a little bit cold with like the sea breeze. So I just wanted to bring something not too heavy, but something I could just like throw over at dinner. Like this outfit to dinner, 
I could just throw this on and then it's like a completely new outfit on the way home when it's cold. I've also tied the black in a little bit more with these shoes and as much as I love the leopard flats, I felt like I should bring another option. A little bit more basic I suppose and in my opinion when you're on vacation at somewhere beachy, you need a pair of black flats. I just think these are so cool. They're a dusky apricot kind of pink and they're super chunky. You guys have probably noticed by now that I love sneakers. I love wearing sneakers with skirts, dresses, pants, shorts, literally everything. As you can see, this is just like an everyday chill kind of outfit where I've got the front of the shirt tucked into my drop crotch pants. These are from my activewear. Not really a part of this haul, but I will be bringing them to Byron. But over here, you can see the top is actually so long on me that I can wear it as a dress. But paired with black sunnies, I actually think it's really cool and I would totally wear this pretty much everywhere. Okay, my last two pieces of clothing, I couldn't decide what colors to get, so I got both. And again, I was shocked, not really. The first one is white and the second one is sand. That's a little bit different. I love how they're oversized and super floppy. If you watch my vlogs, you'll know that I'm in some kind of hoodie or jumper every single day. If I'm being completely honest, I was trying to capture a Kardashian kind of vibe in this look with the bike pants. I don't really know if I pulled it off. I don't know, we'll see if I regret it later. But no, seriously, I really do love everyday hoodies like this. And I feel like a lot of my bottoms, like my pants and my skirts, are often like a dark denim or a black. So it's always nice to have the light colored jumpers just to break that up a little bit. And finally, to close close out my suitcase packing, you can't go to Byron without bringing a bunch of bikinis. So I did do a little sneaky Insta story in this because I was so excited when I got it. Don't get me wrong, I'm so happy, I'm so grateful, and I'm loving my baby bump and I love my baby already, but my previous physique, I always had abs and I always had a flat tummy. So I'm actually kind of having to start from scratch with my bikinis because nothing is fitting my hips, like everything's digging into me. So these are smalls, but I probably could have gone a medium for like the long longevity of my life. So this is my favorite one piece that I'll be bringing. It's very Lara Croft, like Tomb Raider. So the entire thing is lined and honestly, it feels so expensive. And like you could go for a surf in this and be pretty rough in the ocean and it would definitely hold up. And I am so picky with zippers on swimwear. I don't really like when it's metal because I'm in the ocean literally every day, multiple times a day. Mine rust within a couple of weeks. So this is like a really thick, durable plastic. I think it looks better because the black meshes in but also very durable, so it's not gonna get like messed up in salt water. Okay, similar to the black one piece, I'm just loving one pieces lately. I also got this red number, so it's my two fave things right now, one pieces and red. I think it's cool that it's like material fabric kind of elastic, not stretchy bikini material. So this whole swimwear collection was designed by White Box, but the collection is salty and they are so cool. So if you go onto their website, just try to find these salty ones. I think they're the best, like everything's good quality on there, but these are just like really boss girl vibe. Sadly, sissies, we're at the final look of the Byron haul. So it's this baby pink ribbed swimsuit. And then I also matched it with this see-through white throw. So on the website, I'm pretty sure this is called a maxi dress because it has this drawstring you can cinch around your waist and do up the buttons. But I like it opened and cool and flowy for the beach. The main reason I got these bikini bottoms is because they do up on the sides and for me that is a place where bikinis really dig in and I get kind of like spillover. No matter how small or lean I am, it's just kind of a place in my body that holds fat, which is totally fine. It's just I need to work with my body and understand what kind of cuts suit me. So I wanted to try these and I really like them and I feel really confident in them. So that's really all that matters to me at the beach. And I love the back of this bikini as well because it's kind of like that bra style. I think it's really cute and just a little bit different. Unfortunately, that's all I have to show you guys today. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video a little bit of a different take on a fashion haul so if you enjoyed this video definitely give it a thumbs up give it a like because it really supports my channel don't forget to subscribe because I upload new videos every three days and make sure you tick the notification box up the top so you get notified every time I upload and again I'll just remind you because I always get these questions in my hauls but I feel like I say it over and over again everything in this video was from whitefoxboutique.com and you can use my discount code Sarah for 15% off so I hope you guys enjoyed this and I'll see you in my next video bye